quick demo of this video tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create a basic calculator in c sharp windows form application that looks like this here we have basic operations plus minus multiplication and division and here we have the scientific calculator inside that we have implemented basic operations along with that we have implemented complex operations also so i hope you will find this tutorial helpful so please watch till the end of this video tutorial what's up youtube welcome to dotnet mob in this tutorial i will show you how to create a complete c sharp calculator in windows form application before starting this video tutorial i would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video if you are new here please be subscribed to this channel dotnet mob this is my visual studio here we have created a windows form application in c sharp with name calculator here we have the default form form 1 its design looks like this here i have set the form title as calculator then i have set an ico icon for this form that is why you can see an image with calculator here inside the form first of all we have a text box to show operands and result of operations then we have buttons for digits from 0 1 2 3 up to 9 here we have a button to change the operand symbol then we have a decimal point button then we have operators addition subtraction multiplication and division and then we have the ce button it is to clear the current number inside this text box and here we have the c button it is used to clear all the previous operations and operands so don't be confused this ce button is to just clear the number that we have just inserted into this text box and this C button is used to clear all the previous operands and operations. So it is like resetting the calculator to the initial stage. And here we have the final button equal to. It is used to show the final result of an operation. Now let's check what we have done behind this form design. For that you can right click on this form then click on view code or you can use the shortcut F7. Here we have the form constructor frm calculator inside that we have called a function initialize components inside this function we will initialize whatever we have added inside this form here so this function will be there for all newly created windows forms now let's discuss variables declared inside this form before that we need to understand the difference between operand and operator because we will keep saying these words throughout this tutorial suppose we want to add 5 and 3 then we will do this 5 plus 3 here 5 and 3 are called operand and this plus symbol is called addition operator so first of all here we have three flag variables that means variables of the type bool. First one is new entry. This flag is used to identify whether a digit is a part of current operator or the first letter of next operator. Let me show you what I meant by that. Suppose we want to add 45 and 50. We will type 45 then we will press on this button plus button here. During that time, we will set this is new entry flag as true. So that when we enter first digit 5 or 50, we will consider it as the first letter of next operator. In order to do this, we will make use of this is new entry flag. Then we have is infinity exception. If we have an infinity result, we have to block some further operations. For that, we need this flag. Then we have the last flag is repeat last operation let me show you what we meant by this flag suppose we want to add 2 and 3 we will get 5 if i keep clicking on this equal to button last operation will be repeated that means this result will be added by 3 so we will get 8 if i hit once again we will get 11 as a result of 8 plus 3 if i click again we will get 14 as a result of 11 plus 3 in order to identify this situation we have this flag is repeat last operation then we have two double variables here dbl result then dbl operand this dbl operand is used to store the first operand we don't need to store the second operand because that operand will be there inside this text box and this dbl result is used to store the last result 
and here we have the last variable of the type character ch previous operator it is initialized with this new care constructor so it will have a null character this character is used to store the character symbol for each operation plus minus multiplication and division here i have followed some patterns for naming these variables for bool variables i have used is as a prefix and for double variables here i have used dbl as prefix and for characters i have used ch now let's discuss what we have done for displaying numbers when we click on these buttons with digits here we have buttons for digits from 0 1 2 3 up to 9 and then we have a decimal point button here here we have the buttons from 1 2 3 up to 9 then we have one button for 0 then one for decimal point if you check properties of these buttons then go to event section here you can see that all these buttons have same click event which call this function update operand now double click on this click event so here we have the function update operand first of all we will check whether we have an infinity exception or not if we have an infinity exception we don't do anything now let's check that here we have the calculator let me reset this calculator for that you can click on the c button here now i am going to do a zero division six divided by zero is equal to we can see the message here cannot divide by zero now if i click any one of these digits buttons here it won't work because of this if close here okay now let me reset this calculator inside that we have an if close to check whether we are in new entry state or not like i said before like i said before after entering the first operand then we click any one of these operators here we will set this is new entry flag as true so this if close will be executed when is new entry flag is true inside that we will set the result text box to zero string then we will reset this is new entry flag as false if with this if close we will check whether we are in repeat last operation state or not if this flag is true we will set the previous operator as null character then we will clear the result so here is the real deal these two lines of code are responsible for displaying digit based on the button we clicked okay here we have an if close inside that we check two conditions first one if we have a zero string inside this text box and then we click on this zero button here we won't do anything that's the first condition then second condition we have a decimal number inside this text box if we click again on this decimal button so these are the two conditions that we check inside this if close here before that you have to understand this here we have nine digit button then zero button one decimal button all these buttons fire this function update operand when we click on them for this function we have two parameters object center then even asks e inside this parameter we have the object or button control object inside this first parameter object center in order to get the exact button object we will cast this sender parameter into button object like this i have named these buttons like this btn0 btn1 btn2 up to btn9 and this one is btn decimal point so inside the first condition we check inside this text box we have already a zero string then we will check whether the current button clicked is also zero button if the current button is also zero button we don't do anything inside the second condition we check this text box already contains a decimal point then we clicked decimal point button so in order to prevent multiple decimal point inside a number we don't do anything here so that are the two conditions inside this if close here and here we will update this text box based on the button on which we clicked if these two conditions are not satisfied so first of all we will check whether this text box has zero string and then we have clicked decimal point in that case we will update the text box with this string zero point otherwise we will check whether this text box has a zero string if it is a zero string we will directly 
assign the button text into this text box like this okay if it is not equal to a zero string we will append the current text inside this text box with the button text on which we clicked okay okay now we have discussed how to display digits based on the digit button we clicked now let's discuss how we can do the operations like plus minus multiplication and division before that i will show you how this change symbol operator works if you check the form design here you can see that this button has a click event here change sign inside that first of all we will check whether we are in infinity state or not if we are in infinity state we don't do nothing otherwise we will change the sign of the number inside this text box for that we will cast this number string inside this text box into double then we will multiply that number with minus one so that we can change the number sign from positive number to negative number negative number to positive number after all we will convert the number back to string using this function to string now let's discuss what we have done inside these operators button click event if you check the form design here all these buttons have a same button click event operator found let me double click on this here we have the function operator found first of all we will make sure that we are not in infinity exception state here we have the first if close inside that we will check whether we have a previous operator or not if this ch previous operator is a null character we can say that we don't have a previous operator it means that this is the first time user click on operator button after opening the calculator or after resetting the calculator inside that we will set this ch previous operator with the symbol corresponding to the operator button on which we clicked for addition it will be a plus sign for deduction it will be a hyphen for multiplication it will be a star and for division it will be a forward slash and then we will store the number string into this dpl result variable here if there is a previous operator then we will check this condition here whether we are in new entry state or not multiply suppose i want to multiply two numbers two and three so i click on this two button here then accidentally i click on this plus button here so when we click on this plus button here we are already in new entry state because we set this is new entry flag as true here at the end of this operator found function so i want to change that addition to multiplication so if i click on this so we will replace this plus symbol with this star symbol for multiplication here if these two conditions are not satisfied that means we have a previous operator and we are not in a new entry state we have to do some operations okay let me describe this else part with an example suppose i want to add two and three now i'm going to click on this multiplication operator here in that case this else part will be executed inside this else part we will call another function operate it has three parameters as a first parameter we will pass dbl result variable inside this variable we have this number two and we have the operator that means this plus symbol will be inside this variable and here we will pass the second operand that means three so if i click on this this will call this function inside that we will do the addition to plus three so let's look what we have done inside this function operate as i said here we have three parameters first operand second operand in between that we have the operator ch previous operator inside the function we have a switch case with this character variable ch previous operator inside this each case we will do an operation if this variable has a plus symbol we want to do the addition operation for that we will add first operand with the second operand and we will assign that result into this dbl result variable and we want to assign the same number string inside this text box so we want to cast that number into this string if symbol is hyphen we want to do the minus operation instead of plus here we have minus if symbol is star we want to do the multiplication operation 
instead of addition here we have multiplication and here we have the last case for division inside that first of all we will check whether the second operand or the denominator for division is zero or not if it is zero we can say that the result will be infinity so we want to set the text box text as cannot divide by zero and we will set this flag infinity exception flag as true if denominator is not zero we will do the normal division we were talking about this else part here we call this operate function here after this function call using previous operator we will set this previous operator with the current operator here after this if else block we will set this new entry flag as true and then we will reset this repeat last operation as false now let's discuss what we have done inside this equal to button here we will call this equals function when we click on this button here okay first of all we will make sure that we are not in infinity exception state so with this if close if we are in not repeat last operation state we will cast the current number into this variable dbl operand and we will set this repeat last operation flag to true then we will call this function operate first operand previous operator second operand finally we will set this new entry flag to true so that next digit will be treated as a new number that is what we basically meant by new entry flag here we have set this repeat last operation flag to true after clicking on this equal to button if we click any button other than this equal to button this repeat last for operation flag will be reset to false so using this flag we can identify continuous or consecutive clicking on this equal to button based on that we will repeat the last operation if we continuously click on this equal to button otherwise it will do the normal operation based on the previous operator and finally we have two buttons one for ce button it is just to clear the current operand suppose i want to add 6 plus 3 i just mistyped this letter as 33 so i want to clear this just this operand second operand instead of 33 i want 3 so i just click on this ce button then type 3 is equal to 9 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 in order to clear the current operand we can use this ce button so in order to clear the current operand we can use this ce button inside this button click event we will call this function here clear this one clear operator we will reset this infinity exception flag as false and we will reset this current text box to zero string and here we have the C button it is just to clear all it will reset this calculator to its initial state inside that here we will call this function clear all function we will reset this flag infinity exception and re repeat last operation as false and then we will reset these variables dbl operand and dbl reset to zero and then we will assign the text box with zero string we will set the new entry flag as true and finally we will set this ch previous operator with null character so here we have done with basic calculator i have already created one project for scientific calculator also i have designed these two calculator based on the default calculator that you might have seen in windows xp or windows 7 so i hope you will find these projects for your upcoming projects you can download this project source code from the link given below in video description let me know your comments and feedbacks in the comment box below if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribe to my channel.netmob have a nice day bye